can't wait to try out all the new management techniques I've learned. Oh, you keep up your studies, you'll get your chance. She's the woman who insisted on tearing me away for a coffee break. <laughs> I banged into Robin before she was out for a run. From what, the law? <laughs> so I guess you're not too happy about her and Hamish then. What? Don't tell me they snuck that one past you. They're going out. Going out where? I'm dating Mum as in a couple. That's ridiculous. But she's pregnant with twins. Well, doesn't seem to bother him. I think good on him, don't you, if he's willing to take that on? Guys, I've got work to do. Come on, Tama, please. Just hear us out. Coltrane's been booked for this big charity cocktail party that the Friends of Shortland Street are having. We stand to do really well from it. Good for you, sir. See, the problem is it's a Spanish theme party, so of course the woman running the show specifically asked for tapas. Oh, so you want to use my menu? Nice of you to ask this time. Look, Tama, I am so sorry about that mix-up. And no, we would never use your menu again without you being there to cook it yourself. So what do you reckon, bro? You're worth it for the cash. Oh, hold on, you're, you're asking me to come back to work? Just for one night. I'm sorry. Okay, name me price. I don't care about the money. I just don't want to do it. Who are you? I asked for you especially. Oh, who are you? Who are you? I wasn't good enough for her when I was running the cafe and all of a sudden she... No way. Tama, do you think Shannon is going to appreciate you turning down money for both her and the baby? Do you think she's going to respect you for it? <laughs> I'll see you later. Good morning, Dr. Weston. I hope Jake didn't torture you for too long last night. Sleep on the desk. Sorry, Tani and I didn't get back till late last night. We lost track of the time. I know what you're doing, Claire. I'm not doing anything. You hang out with Tanya to get close to me. Oh, what an ego. I happen to like Tanya. Fine. Have a beautiful friendship with her, but I don't want to buy her. But... Uh, if you don't mind, I've got work to do. looking very well. Very young, you mean. Showing me up. <laughs> we only have Liam's amateur theory to go on, but it's possible that Amanda is communicative. You run tests? No, but I plan to. We could sue the Swiss clinic for negligence, possibly even malpractice. It's not about money. What about this Liam character, then? Do we need to put a restraining order on him? I don't want blood either. I just want what's best for Amanda. Well, your mother's will takes care of whatever Amanda needs until her death, even at Swiss clinic prices. But you're not thinking of sending her back there, are you? Absolutely not. Ah, look locally. I'm sure you'll find something just as good for half the price. Who are you? I hope you're here to tell me that Tabo Walker goes tapas menu tomorrow night. Norman. Look, I've done all I can. He, he won't budge. Right, uh, leave it to me. Am I allowed to ask how my daughter is doing? Sit yourself. Come on, Tanya, this is silly. You made your bed. I didn't ask your father to leave. I certainly didn't want him to. Well, you made it pretty clear to him that Hamish was more important. That's rubbish. Try putting yourself in my shoes for a while. After 35 years, I finally get the chance to get to know the son that I've never stopped thinking about. I was supposed to just give that up. You never stopped thinking about him, did you? What does that say about us? Me, Maya, Libby? I love you, Tanya, and your sisters. Finding Hamish doesn't change any of that. And Dad, do you still love him? Of course I do. And I miss him desperately. He phoned last night, said he couldn't find the boot polish, but I know better. It's missing you too, huh? Oh, for goodness sake. I thought Maya was wrong, but it's true. What is Hamish thinking? Hey, what's up? Mm, he put a smile on your dial. Oh, your girlfriend, actually. Hey, eh? Not like that. The advice you gave me last night. First on to it thing anybody said to me since I broke up with Claire. Tony's good like that. And there must be more out there like her, right? Beautiful, intelligent, honest. Of course there are. Good. Because until one of them comes along, I'm not interested. Good for you, bro. Yeah, I've got plenty of other things to keep me occupied. 
much stuff I used to be really into that I've been neglecting. So. Mm. Coffee in the pot? Nah, I need a whole one for Andrew's next meeting. Hey, uh, if you don't mind me asking, what's the story with you and Robin Stokes? Oh, yes. Million dollar question. Anyone around here have a life of their own to worry about? Well, of course we do. It's just nowhere near as interesting as yours. Yeah, come on, brother. you got to admit it's weird. Why? Well, she's pregnant for one. <laughs> we're twins to your boss. Well, so what, man? I'm just seeing where the relationship goes. I, mean, I really like it. Well, I hope you don't think the feeling's mutual. <laughs> I've been there, my friend, and Robin Stokes can fool anybody. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. do I hear jealousy? Trust me, her sole purpose on this earth is to get as close to Andrew as possible, at any cost. Right, and you don't think it's possible that she's changed? <coughs> I'm sorry if I seem cold, Chris. I just don't believe there's anything that can be done for Amanda. If there's even the smallest chance that she's been misdiagnosed, I have to look into it. We yeah, understand that. This isn't the first time she's been tested. What Amanda needs is safety and comfort. Not strangers treating her like a lab rat. Well, is that any worse than her family treating her like a vegetable? Amanda was always your parents' greatest cause for heartbreak. There just wasn't any hope. Yeah, but they weren't there to see her choose her favorite meal off a menu or react when she got a fright. Are you sure that's what's going on? Because as executor of Margot's will, I can't allow the money to be squandered on the fantasies of some opportunistic miracle worker. Well, maybe it just took someone like Liam to spend enough time with her. What if she's been trapped inside her head all these years, just desperate for someone to figure out that she is aware? Okay, by all means, get the test done. All I ask is that you prepare yourself for bad news. Nothing but...